Hey guys, welcome back. Now in the last session, we figured out what do we need to make a REST API call, right? So what we need is we need the client ID, client secret, the URLs, and the refresh token. So now I'm exposing you to a tool called Postman. Now this is a great tool for uh, making the REST API calls, very powerful. There are several other tools in the market which you can use to do what I'm going to show you here. But again, this is one of my personal favorites, so, and it's free to use. You could download it and uh, use it to make these REST API calls, not only for Workday, but for any other system which allows you to make REST API calls. So it has a great feature where you can create collections, and in collections, you can keep building your request. Could be a GET request, could be a POST, could be a PUT, could be a DELETE. And one of the features is once you have done building your collections, you could export these collections and send to somebody if they would really like to take it from you and don't have to start from the scratch. So to build that, let's start building our collection and make some REST API calls. So I'm going to build a new collection and I'm going to call this collection as, let's say, Workday REST API. Now this creates a blank collection. As you can see, it has zero requests in it. So first thing I want to do is I want to authenticate. I want to make an authentication call. So I will build a request. You can click on these three ellipses and I can go to add request. And when I add a request, I can call it as post um, and I can say post access token, right? Which in sense, is a post call so i'm going to call it as post access token however it is actually doing a get call um, it's a get access token because you want to get it from workday but it's a post because it needs a body so it's a post call so i'm going to save it to work rest api and you can click on this you will see your call and see by default it is a get but we want it to be a post because that's what the api needs to get you the access token back now if you remember we had our URLs. So the URL to get the token is the token endpoint. Now the token endpoint, I have saved it and this is my URL for the token endpoint. Okay, so this is a post call, that's my token endpoint. What else do we have? We need authorization. So we go to the authorization tab and I'm gonna call it, it needs basic authentication. And I will put in my username and with the username is my client ID and I have my client ID handy so I'm going to put in my client ID and the password is my client secret so I'm going to put in my client secret okay now what postman does for you because this authorization when you do the authorization this is basic auth and the username and the password is the client ID and the client pass on uh, the client secret Ideally, you can also do like um, the username, which is client ID, colon, the client secret, and do a base64 on coding. But Postman does that for you behind the scenes, so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to leave it as it is. So I put the client ID and the client secret here. Moving on, in the header section, I need a header. And the header I need is the content type header. And the content type I need is, if you remember in the last class we discussed, this application x ww form url encoded now in the body section you need some data you need to post because it's a post and in the post you need to specify what is the grant type and the grant type is refresh token and the value of the refresh token which i also have saved when i was creating my REST API client in Workday. So I have my refresh token. I'm gonna to take that, stick it in here, and I should be good to go. When I hit send, it comes back with my access token. So my refresh token, my token type, which is a bearer, and I have my access token. So fairly simple to do, right? So what I did is, you need the URL there were three URLs, right? There was a URL, which is the REST API endpoint. 
there was a token endpoint there was an authorization endpoint you are using the token endpoint to get the token in the authorization tab you went and did basic auth in the username you provided the client id in the password you provided the client secret in the headers you provided the content type with the value of application slash xww form url encoded in the body you mentioned the grant type to be refresh token and the refresh token is equal to the value of the refresh token and that's how you get your access token now in the subsequent calls we will use this and we will take this bearer token that we got and we will make our subsequent calls to get the worker to write data into a custom object that's what we're going to, to do next um, I can save this call in postman as you can see now I have saved this this is a post call it's a post call to get my token and if you like you can even export it and send it to somebody so you can share this collection or you could export it and when you export it you can save it as a collection version 2.1 version 2 and so on and so forth so somebody can import it you can actually if somebody sends you a collection you can import this collection in postman so you don't have to jump through all the hoops everything would show up the way it is okay that's it for this session we showed you how do you get your token back in the next session we will be doing a get worker call to get the data from the work the tenant using the rest api through this access token that you have received thank you for listening see you in the next session